that's one for me from now, really. Um, I'm the other one, the David Price match from last night against the Costa Junior from Brazil. Um, I just want to do another one of the other British heavyweight matches last night, uh, which was Hugh Fury. Uh, he was up against the toughest fight of his career by far, um, which was fighting against Juan Uh Now, if you don't know who Juan Udenko is, up until uh, before his last fight, he was 24 now, uh, with 16 pounds. Um, he looked like a promising, um, promising fighter coming out of the Ukraine. Um, but then he, he met Lucas Brown, who's of course an Australian athlete, who uh, he's a good fighter in his own right, and he's up and coming as well. Um, I might say up and coming, he's, uh, he's, he's up and coming as a heavyweight. I don't know if heavyweights are sure that they even last normally. Um, but the, um, the one thing that I thought going to the fight, I didn't make a prediction on these fights, to be honest, uh, because you know, I don't think it'd be worth making a prediction on it. But I was surprised at the margins of the scores. No, I mean, I'll be honest, I've only watched the highlights, I've only watched the full fight back, uh, partly due to the fact I was a little bit drunk, partly due to the fact that um, I saw the book as well. But from what I've seen, Huey Fury put on a really good performance. Okay? But he shouldn't be doing that to guys like Aaron Denko as a 15 fight pro. You know, I, I think Huey Fury has gone under the radar like in this country. Um, and I'm not an international scale of how good he could be. Let's not forget something here. Huey Fury is 21 this year. 21 this year. He's already had more professional fights than Anthony Joshua has. I know the judge is what, 24 now? 23, 24? You know? And we're talking about Anthony Joshua being the next biggest thing, the next biggest prospect. But if you've got a guy three or four younger, uh, three, three or four years younger than Anthony Joshua, who isn't defeated, and he's already beating guys like Denko convincingly at points, why is he not getting so much revenge? Why is he not getting the hype? Uh -huh. Surely he deserves it. Yeah? I mean, we, we give Tyson Fury praise, or, you know, we call him a GFO, depending on what side of the fence you are. You know, you, you give Anthony Joshua praise, you give all of our heavyweights praise, but Hugh Fury's one of those guys who just tends to go under the radar. You know? Right. Especially with Sky Sports, the only time that he ever really gets picked up on Sky Sports is uh, by Spencer Fury on Toe to Toe. You know, it's only once on an occasion. You know, there's not a great deal of coverage for the around right now. So, uh, if you found Hugh Fury, uh, well done. Great win. You know, really great win as well. And um, well, I'd be interested to see where he goes next. You know, I'm thinking maybe British title fight. You know, going to the British title fight rankings next. That, that, that could be some interesting fight. But you know, I don't know. You sort of meant to be a quick one, really, anyway. You know, like I said, I didn't watch the fight all the way through, so I can't really give a full, full breakdown of it. But I'm just impressed. I was impressed. You know, it was that comfortable for him. So, fair play. Peace out.